Hi, my name is Kathy Glenn, and I'd like to welcome you to the Riverside Bed and Breakfast in Historic Bridgewater, PA. As we go into the bed and breakfast, you'll be able to see that we have quite a Victorian flair. Our bed and breakfast was built in 1907. It's a American four square. And because of the time frame, there's different aspects of the Victorian decor. Here in the dining room, we're able to seat six people. So if you're here with a family group or friends, you certainly can all eat together. In the dining room, we have some fine art as well that maybe will bring back some memories of places that you've been. The fireplace in here works as well. So on cold winter mornings, we'll keep you warm, just like the good food here. In the kitchen, this is where I'll be doing most of the work. We'll be featuring breakfast with caramel pecan, French toast, apple cake muffins, all sorts of egg dishes and homestyle cooking. I've got a lot of recipes from friends and family, so I hope you'll enjoy it. The first room we'd like to show you is called the Aaron Burr Room. Aaron Burr was here in Bridgewater back in the 1800s attempting to overthrow the American government, and so he commissioned keel boats to be built here and in West Virginia. That failed. But there's a historic marker outside, so we decided to name this the Aaron Burr Room. This is a handy able room. It's on the first floor. There are a few steps up to the house, but it will be very helpful to have it here. We have a drop-down desk. We have a handicapped closet. And the bathroom is a walk-in bathroom. Let's go upstairs and see the other three rooms. We call this the Hall of Ladies because there's beautiful photographs and drawings of women from the period of the early 1900s. When you arrive at your room, you will have your own private code to enter, and there's double deadbolts on each room. This is Water Street. Water Street is named for what Riverside Drive used to be. It's Water Street, and down below along the river, you can still see remnants of it. In this room, we have a queen-size bed, a full bath, and the shower has a rainfall shower head. We also have some nice art, and we have an antique stained glass window that came from a Bridgewater home. This room is the Keystone Suite. The Keystone Suite is named for the former Keystone Bakery, which was a large baking company here in Bridgewater. This has a queen-size bed, an antique secretary for you to do your work, as well as a gorgeous river view while you're here. This is the Dunlap Suite. The Dunlap Suite is the largest and most luxurious of our four rooms. It's named after the Dunlap Mansion, and the Dunlap Mansion was here in Bridgewater, a very historic building, and it was part of the Underground Railroad. Unfortunately, it was demolished about three years ago. So we try to bring that back here. There's a fireplace in this room as well. It's an electric fireplace. There is a desk for you to go ahead and do your work. And then we have a master bathroom as well. The master bath of the Dunlap Suite has several amenities. We have a large whirlpool tub. We have a separate shower and we have amenities throughout all the rooms that are high quality. Uh, goat's milk, soap and lotion, as well as a high quality shampoo and conditioner. After you check in, most of the time you're going to come up to your rooms from the outside entrance. That's really nice looking at the river from there, but you'll be able to bring up your luggage and everything and late at night after that time at the restaurant or bar, you'll be able to come back home. Besides the beautiful view from the porch to see the river, in the evenings you can come back here, relax, have a fire in the chiminea, and just enjoy your evening. 
We have several options for eating meals out. You'll have breakfast here, but for lunch or dinner, there's many restaurants around. In fact, there's several in walking distance. At Riverside Bed and Breakfast, for activities, you may want to try fishing. You can just go down by the docks and look at the boats going by. You can rent a paddleboard or you can rent a kayak and go kayaking. So there's lots of different activities. If you're interested in art, you can go to the Merrick Art Gallery. If you're interested in history, we have several local museums, history museums as well. There's local and state parks within driving distance. So if you're an outdoor family and you want to go hiking, you want to go see the lake at Brady's Run, go to Brush Creek Park, go to Raccoon Creek, all of those are very nearby. Riverside Bed and Breakfast is perfect if you have a family reunion, a school reunion, if you're thinking about a bridal party or a baby shower, we'd love to go ahead and host you here. We're also hoping to have some local artists and photographers have gallery showings, exhibits of their own work. Thank you for joining us here today at Riverside Bed and Breakfast in Bridgewater, Pennsylvania. We hope to see you soon. We'd love to host you here.